Today I'm going to talk to you about the new Screamer stand. Um, this is a really fantastic stand. I own about seven stands and this is the only one, one that I would attempt to put together by myself and two, it's really the only one that I use. Um, it comes with a really cool carrying case and I'm going to assemble this here for you um, so you can see how it goes together. It goes together pretty easy. So I'm going to start with the legs first. Okay, so you're going to take um, the two legs that are going to be closest to a wall and you are going to slide those into the top, um, to the top rod here and just slide right in. And then they have a push pin so it's easy. There you go. And you do that on both sides. Now you will need an 8 foot ceiling when you put this up because of the distance that it has to go um, when you're standing it up. But you want to put the legs that you have put, just put in against the wall. And then you just grab the top, walk it back to the wall. You can do it on one side if it's touching the wall. And then what you're going to want to do is pull it out a little bit so it's leaning against the wall. It's not going to fall on your head here like that. Okay, I just put this leg in, but I'm really short, and so I have a bench here. I'm not even five foot tall. So I'm going to show you how I put this side in. The biggest um, thing to watch for is to make sure that these two brackets right here face each other. They're kind of at a semi-angle at this stage, and they're going to be like this. So that's really important, or you're going to be taking legs out. So I just um, this is on a hinge up here, so you can actually move this a little bit to help you out. Um, and then it just push pins right in. So that's it. So the legs are done. And then what you're going to do is grab the legs, the ones furthest to the outside, and just walk them back. And the whole thing will open up for you. So the final step is a crossbar. And you have one on each side of the stand. Um, I put the other one in already. It goes in just as fast. So what you're going to do is you got holes in them, you line them up, um, it has these knobs that come with it, I'm going to put the knob in here, and just kind of line it up, it'll go through the hole right there, then you have a cap that goes on, oops, drop one, you have a cap that goes on, and then just screw that on, put this other one in back here, Drop. And put that on. And that's it. And that is how you put the screamer stand up by yourself. Now, if you would like this video, I would love that. You can always subscribe to the channel, or you can go find out about the comparisons between different stands, or you can find out other mounting options if you don't want a stand.